Welcome back! My name is Size Games, and this is part 35 of Let's Play Mass Effect 1. Now, last time we were here, we had gotten in here and crashed in here. Got a bunch of geth, and as Sarah's attempting to get the conduit, which we learned is a dude who has a lot of control and can open up. Oh, get out your guns! Basically, basically we learned that these, uh, the Citadel is a hole for the for the Prothians I think they're called, to come through, and when they come through, they're going to kill all of us and clear everyone on the Citadel. So we're trying to stop that. The Presidium is experiencing severe system malfunctions across the entire level. All non-emergency personnel must evacuate immediately. Give me a rundown of the damage. We have lost all primary power to the level. Environmental controls are not responding. Class 3 fires are burning in sectors 2, 3, 6, and 7. Civilian casualties are high. I am also detecting numerous unauthorized synthetic life forms throughout the station. They are believed to be hostile. Please approach with caution. Council. What happened to the Council? In accordance with standard emergency procedures, the Council has been evacuated to the Destiny Ascension. Our survivors. What about Captain Anderson and Ambassador Udina? What happened to them? I have no information on the status of specific individuals. Once the current crisis has been resolved, a complete accounting of casualties and survivors will begin. Where's Saren? Former Spectre agent Saren Arturius is nearing the vicinity of the Council Chamber. A warrant has been issued for his arrest, though Citadel Security is unable to respond at this time. Come on, we need to stop Saren before it's too late. Please begin emergency evacuation procedures. This Let's go get some of it quickly. Let's look at this map here. If you look at this map, there's a Vena, and that's it. So we need to go into the elevator. Well, we are, can you help back up? Oh, going up! Stop saying. I wonder where we are though. Are we in the. Are we back at the. Zido? Oh, yeah, we are. Is that a guard? I thought that was a guess. Uh oh, there's some bad molar efforts here. So where are we exactly? So 
we're down here and this is a long chamber. Wait, shift. This is the end. Let's go this way over. Towards this creature. Ready for a bad hour, we're probably gonna have to shoot some of down. Chill. I'm at the fence here. Do you think you got it, huh? You think that you're so good you just made this place? No touching. No worries. That's not how it works. You just keep baby with all these goddamn creeps that are spawning. It's not gonna make a difference. We all gonna go down to the oh, my guns are making a problem. Problem. Up 
turret. Get out of here, brother. Medic shock troopers. Screw you guys. Back to me, bro. Move there. Because it's Tally, now Liara's the one halfing up. Now Liara, come here. Come here, Mother Effer, come here. Jeez Louisus. What are you doing, Roman? Yara, we're all good. You know what? Screw you. Come on, Dally, we're doing it by ourselves. Ready back to me? She's my job by herself. We have it. You broke the warriors thinking, yeah, I'd be dumb, buddies. How much much they come? All at once? Now well, you broke more the retreat, huh? You just think you can just retreat on me? You just think you can just get out of here? Grab the rockets! Galaxy is the pin on me and Tally because we are like, I'm not doing this. We're not. Now we are here, heck yeah. Now you come back to join us, huh? Did you realize? Got it. Get this. Where are you going?
There's a god dang turret. up we are we need you we got magic right mix let's get up there
projecting. Sovereign's controlling you through your implants. Don't you see that? The relationship is symbiotic. Organic and machine intertwined. A union of flesh and steel. The strengths of both, the weaknesses of neither. I am a vision of the future, Shepard. The evolution of all organic life. This is our destiny. Join Sovereign and experience a true rebirth. As a slave? I'd rather die than live like that. Then you will die. And your companions. Everyone you know and love. Everyone you've ever met. Don't you understand? You will all die. The Reapers can't be stopped. Not by the Protheans. Not by you. The cycle always continues. Sovereign's controlling you through your implants. The relationship is... I am a vision of the future, Shepard. The evolution. No more stalling, Saren. Let's finish this. You should have joined Sovereign when you had the chance. Seriously, just walk up there? I want to. Come on. Activate, mother effer! What are you doing? No way, activate this goddamn control panel. I'm confused because it's like, activate the control panel. So I'm like, yes! And this pop was like, no. Can't do that. Oh, wait. Nope, I still can't act with the goddamn control panel. So what the fudge am I supposed to do? Just stand here and just watch this all endeavor? Uh, 
really confusing. What the fudge? I shot Saren. I don't know what to do. I can't connect the got any control panel. Is this a glitch? Please don't tell me. Please tell me it's not. I'm supposed to fall through here. Oh, there we go. Vigil's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick, open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down before he regains control of the station. See if you can open a communications channel. Destiny Ascension. Main drives offline. Kinetic barriers down more than percent. The Council is on board. I repeat, the Council is on board. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. It's me. I'm here, Joker. We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Endura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. Are you sure about this, Shepard? Human casualties will be very high if you send your fleet in now. This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign is a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. True. That's why you can't waste reinforcements trying to save the Council. You must hold them back until the Citadel arms open up and the human fleet can go after Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension, or hold back? Hmm, it's a good one. I don't really know how to pick on this one. Right on the save, let's see. Let's see. Hmm. Save the goddamn council. Opening the relays now, Joker. We need to save the Ascension, no matter what the cost. I hope the Council appreciates this. Alliance ships, move in. Save the Destiny Ascension. Commander, we're picking up reinforcements. It's the Alliance. Thank the Goddess. down and sorry when it gets hit. He's good. Good thing going down. Go to get him. Yep. Destiny Ascension, you are all clear. Repeat, you are all clear. The Citadel's opening. All ships move in. Concentrate on Sovereign. Hack it. Sure he's dead. I don't like the sound of this. That finish it. He's dead.
you're going. Fudge, fudge. Got it. This is harder than I thought. Yep, way. She needs to move up. Shooting at him. Selection power, so I'm just gonna go in. Come back, my health. Come back, my one. Health pack, I need you right now. What the fuck are you doing? Hurry up. down no matter what the cost. Crap, there's no way to defeat him! Okay guys, go over back. Yep, back here for Veggie, just one after him. Attempt him to. The problem is not his health, it's got dang shields! And it's got dang rockets! It's just rockets, like... Not dying yet. Don't die on me. Oh come on! That is so bullcrap! That's like the most bullcrap death I ever see. It just pats you up and it's like, oh no, we gotta kill him. No, stay on me. How does he not taking like any damage? He's taking no goddamn damage. I can't do anything, are you kidding me? That is so bullcrap, I can't do anything.
finally, second attempt to get him. But if you're done! Screen. Ambassador, Captain, Commander Shepard. We have gathered here to recognize the enormous contributions of the Alliance forces in the war against Sovereign and the Geth. Many humans lost their lives in the battle to save the Citadel. Brave and courageous soldiers who willingly gave their lives so that we, the Council, might live. There is no greater sacrifice. And we share your grief over the tragic loss of so many noble men and women. The Council also owes you a great personal debt, Commander, one we can never repay. You saved not just our lives, but the lives of billions from Sovereign and the Reapers. Commander Shepard, your heroic and selfless actions serve as a symbol of everything humanity and the Alliance stand for. And though we cannot bring back those valiant soldiers who gave their lives to save ours, we can honor their memories through our actions. Humanity has shown it is ready to stand as a defender and protector of the galaxy. You have proved you are worthy to join our ranks and serve beside us on the Citadel Council. Counselor, on behalf of Humanity and the Alliance, we thank you for this prestigious honor and humbly accept. We will need a list of potential candidates to fill Humanity's seat on the Council. Given all that has happened, I am sure your recommendation will carry a great deal of weight, Commander. Do you support any particular candidate? Do I have a particular candidate? Not really. <laughs> but I can see. Uh, I don't know if I'm... Am I just choosing up to me? Or Captain Anderson? I'm probably too high too. Because Ambassador's kind of just nail on me, but... I don't know, we'll see what we do here. Um, you know what? 
I say, Anderson, screw it. You didn't betray me. You always believed in me. You should be the councilman. We need someone with the courage to stand up for what he believes in. Someone like Captain Anderson. Him? You must be joking. Anderson prefers to let his fists do the talking. Only with you, Ambassador. Only with you. Are you sure about this, Commander? The Captain's a soldier, not a politician. We don't need politicians. That's not the point here, bro. We've already got too many politicians on the Citadel. The Captain would be perfect for this job. I think it's an inspired choice. The Council would welcome him with open arms, should he accept. I'm honored, Counselor. As humanity's representative, I'll do everything in my power to help the Council rebuild. Sovereign's defeat marks the beginning of a new era for both humanity and the Council. I don't know if this is over yet, though. Sovereign was only a vanguard. The Reaper fleet is still coming. Hundreds of ships, maybe thousands. And I'm gonna find some way to stop them. Shepard's right. Humanity is ready to do its part. United with the rest of the Council. We have the strength to overcome any challenge. When the Reapers come, we must stand side by side. We must fight against them as one. And together, we will drive them back into dark space. Shepard. It's like a zoomed in photo. He's like, doesn't move. Zoom in. So that's basically it for Mass Effect, the first one. So basically, I'm really glad I played this game because you know at first I was kind of hesitant to buy this game when it went on sale a long, long time ago. But I bought it anyway because like you know everyone's getting good ratings and stuff, and they say it's a really good game, so I bought it, and I'm glad I did because it's a really good game. Uh, I'd recommend it to basically anyone. And honestly, I haven't really had a game yet that I've really hated on my channel. I mean. I, honestly, Battlefield 3 has probably been the worst game on my channel, but that even wasn't that bad of a game. The single player had some problems and stuff, but that's the point of this video. But I really love this game, and I can't wait. As you know, I'm playing the trilogy, so I can't wait to hop in the second game and see how things are going. Now, I don't know if I'm going to import my save data from this game or not, because if I don't, then half the people who died will still be alive, but you know, be Councilman and not Anderson. And, and really, Anderson should probably be the ambassador because Dean is kind of like an animal all the time. It's like, no, you can't do that. It's gonna kill us. So you gotta listen to him and blah, 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 and he keeps going on. So, basically, it's a really good game. If you if you don't have it, I'd recommend you buy it. Uh, especially since the trilogy now itself is only like 30 bucks, like 10 bucks a game. Heck yeah, it's worth it. I mean, the second and third alone are worth probably 30 bucks themselves. They're worth 60 bucks themselves. And this game's probably worth that much too. It's a really good game. I'm really glad I bought them. So, basically, with this being done, basically, with it on my channel, uh, basically, uh, on Tuesday, I will probably play Mass Effect 2. So, basically, this Tuesday, this Tuesday, that will be Tuesday, and then up next Sunday, and then the Tuesday after that will be videos of Mass Effect 2. After that is, um, I'll explain in my video tomorrow as well, is that, um, things are going to change, uh, basically, the, so there's some, so I have pre-ordered Watch Dogs, and I I am planning to pre-order Wolf's Dead Order. So my plan is is that on the 20th, which is when Wolfenstein comes out, and the 27th when Watch Dogs comes out, um, Wolfenstein will be taking over the channel for the moment. Now, 
th these games are not getting, these games are not going to be stopped. They're not cancelled. They're just under a, we'll just say, a momentary suspension. So basically, uh, I'm going to be playing Wolfenstein, and I'll be playing this game, Watch Dogs. I'll be playing Watch Dogs for the entire game. When basically, whenever one finishes first, probably will be, um, there'll be then, because uh, there'll basically be this video, Wolfenstein will be every day, and then when Watch Dogs, there'll be Watch Dogs and Wolfenstein both two a day, every day, my plan, if possible, until those two games, and then when, which one finishes first? I don't know how long Watch Dogs, Wolfenstein said, you know, 20 hours, and that's what the developer said, and the Reddit asked me anything, and that was a couple days ago. So, I don't know how long Watch Dogs is, probably around that thing as well. When both those games finish, it means that after that, it'll be one video a day, and every Thursday, I'll put Saints Row 2 as a double video, because that is also a very popular series on my channel. A more popular series than some of those on my channel. And then, after Watch Dogs complete, we'll resume that six years. We'll resume Bioshock. And Bioshock, I'll be playing. We'll resume, and we'll resume Metal Last Light, and we'll resume Saints Row 2. So that's my plan the series. Basically, I don't really have much else to really change here. So, but I, uh, I'm really glad I'm... I'm really glad I played this game. It's a really awesome game. So, basically, now I gotta... Now, basically, it's tra transition time, because honestly, now I'm, I finished up this game. This has been... This was the longest running series I've had so far. It's pretty... I think we should 35 videos in the longer run series, so I'm going to move on now to the second game. Uh, and Bioshock, I'm almost done with, so I'm going to go to the next game in that series. And, and then in Saints Row 2, I'm making progress. I mean, that's what I like in the second game. So, a lot of these games I've already gotten through a couple of them, but I'm so glad that I played this game. I'm so glad that I'm playing all these games for you guys, and I'm so glad for the support. Um, for you subscribers, I don't have a huge many right now, but I'm so I'm still really happy you guys subscribe to me because when you do and you like and you comment, those are the reasons that I have this channel. Here. Um, it's not just because we're funny, because honestly, I'm not making anything on these videos right now. I'm not. I'm making I'm making like a dollar every couple months. Heck, I'm not making anything right now. But basically when you subscribe to them, that's the reason I'm doing this right now. I'm not just doing it for the fun. I'm doing it because of the love of you guys and that's the other reason that I'm, I'm going to continue doing these videos for you guys. So, that being said, um, basically as I told you to buy this game, it's like the fourth time I said it. So basically, really that's about all I've had to really need to say here. But, um, the only thing that I probably would grab about in this game, if I do have to grab, is the driving controls. And the, uh, um, yeah, the planets. So, suppose the win in second and third game, the planets no longer remain. And it's probably a good thing, because the thing is, is I don't mind exploring the planets. That's fine with me. But the problem is, is that, is that the planets, there's so many of them. And, they're, and there's so much stuff on them, that it takes so much time to do them. Not that that's a bad thing, it's just more of a, and it's not that uh, it's the planet's size, it's more the repetition. They're all the same, there's like one mission on a planet, there's an anomaly on the planet, which is usually some animals, and there's minerals. So you those goddamn minerals are so, uh, is, is okay after a while, but after like five lines, it gets so goddamn annoying. You do it over and over and over again, especially for like 50 times, like I did. And then the driving in this game, probably, now I know Mass Effect is not a driving game. And I have played a lot of driving games by myself, uh, because when I was a kid, as a kid, those were the games I played, before my parents were like, no, you can't play them, so, so I played, you know, driving games, so. this is probably one of the worst games to drive on ever, and that's saying something, because first I was a PC game, so I'm not, I'm not too surprised, but honestly, this game, that was probably worth the grand of all four, and that, if you have played that game, you know that game driving is not very good in that uh, but, it's probably one of the worst ever seen. So hopefully they've improved that in the second game. And because the problem is, is that the, the I don't know how to explain. It. There's so many names for cars, and a lot of them you probably wouldn't understand. They're all so I don't. It's just I don't. It's not very good handling and drifting. It's well, you're not drifting, but you're handling the handling is really poor. Just put it that way. So basically with that, but 
Besides those two little minor gripes, basically everything else was perfect. The, t the pacing was pretty well done, uh, and and the the characters were great, the voice acting was great, and so I'm I'm really glad about this game. Really glad I'm playing this trilogy. So um, basically, um, thank you all, and uh, I'll think of something else here. So as I already I already explained my channel schedule to you. So really, that's about all I had to say, honestly. I mean, the credits are going to keep rolling here. Um, but thank you for watching, everybody. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next part of Let's Play Bio uh, Let's Play Mass Effect. Or any other video on my channel. Thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Because I really appreciate it. And thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day, everybody.